And it goes a little yeah. something like Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is a beautiful day today to DIY and create the life of our dreams, even if on a dime. Okay, so I've been like scouring anthropology and urban outfitters because I get so much creative inspiration every time I do so. And um, ever since I did those clay mugs, I've still been just loving playing around with clay. So the other day I was on Urban Outfitters website and I found some really cool like clay plates and I figured it'd be a really fun project to try to recreate. So that is what brings us here today. We are going to be recreating these super dope little clay plates from Urban Outfitters and I'm really excited. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go. So for the materials, I ran to the craft store and I got a bunch of polymer clay, acrylic paint, dishwasher safe Mod Podge, some gold leaf paint, and then you'll just need some various other household items. I'm literally about to use this Canadian whiskey bottle to roll out this clay. <laughs> So you're going to want to start by prepping the clay by getting it nice and rolled out. If you have a rolling pin, that's preferable, but if you don't, then any kind of round bottle will work. You'll see me using both my whiskey and my tequila bottles. After the clay is rolled out, then we need to cut it out. I'm actually going to be using a round bowl as a stencil, cutting around the edges with just a small garnish knife that I have at my house. You can also use an X-Acto blade. So after you get it cut out, just make sure it looks nice and even. You can kind of use your finger to go around and make sure that it's evened out as well. Um, also, I definitely recommend using a spatula. It's still kind of tricky to make sure everything stays in shape, but you can use a spatula to flip it over. And then I also have this wood piece and I'm just gonna go around the edges and just make sure everything looks nice and you know clean cut and square and clean and even. For both the moon phase and that sun piece, I'm actually going to kind of like engrave and like carve out the pattern on the clay before I bake it, just because it gives it kind of like a cool touch. So that's what I'm doing here, and then I'm going to kind of fold up the edges. But if you keep watching, I'm going to try a different method here in a bit. All right, so this is all good to go. And I think I'm gonna start with the sun one. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of lift the edges a little bit and um, yeah, kind of carve out the flames and see what I can do. So while I was at Michael's, I actually bought this like clay toolkit. It's definitely not necessary, but it was helpful. Um, they had this like kind of giant uh, wooden pick in there and I use that to kind of carve out the flames um, you have to be a little light and it was hard because you got some crumbs I guess you can call it crumbs but um, I did the best I could to carve out the flames and kind of clean it up as well for this one I sat it in this bowl to just kind of form it before I took it out and baked it but keep watching for the best way to do it all right here are my final little clay pieces I'm just kind of testing this out. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but... And this is going to be like my plain one, kind of flat one that I'm going to paint. My little moon one, you can kind of see I like put little guidance lines in here. You could call them guidance lines. Little edge, and then I got to get this one out, and hopefully it'll kind of mold to the bowl to give it a little curve. So let's bake it and then uh, see what happens. Oh my gosh, I just had to pull this out of the oven. It's like burning on the side. <sighs> Did it get way too hot? Oh no. I am an idiot. Just make it at 275, not 375. Damn it, Amira. So these literally look like tortillas. 
Not sure if I'm gonna be able to salvage these. <laughs> ah! So I'm gonna go ahead and bake these and see if they come out um, any better. And yes, it's on 275 and not 350. All right, we're hot, but we're not on fire. So I think we're good. I'm gonna take it out. Just gonna let it cool down. All right guys, it's really late right now. I went to Michael's to get more clay since I burnt the other clay. And I just finished like rolling it out. And this actually looks pretty cool because it looks, I don't know if you can tell, but like kind of marble because I combined the peach and the white color. So, and then I also like, I decided I'm gonna change up my, my method. I'm gonna experiment over here. I'm actually gonna try to bake it in the bowl with the wax paper to see if it like, holds form more I don't know but I'm definitely gonna sit like right by the oven and like not take my eyes off of it so I'm gonna see how this turns out let's hope for the best let's hope for the best looks pretty good it's not welting up or anything smoky smoke good morning guys <laughs> it is the next day obviously and um, yesterday was a little difficult a little more difficult than I had anticipated. Of course, I like burnt that whole first round of clay. This is actually how the little burnt one turned out. It looks like a little tortilla. Wax paper on the back is like crusted to it. So I'm pretty bummed that, that I did that. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> but um, I let everything cool. And um, I will say that like having that idea, that epiphany about like forming the clay to the bowl and like actually baking it in the oven in the bowl to form it was a really great idea um, because it helped actually like mold the bowl, form it, and like give it that shape. So this is how the uh, first one turned out. And I also had mixed the white clay with a little bit of like the coral clay. So it kind of looks like a marble almost, which is cool. White one too. And I put my thumbprints in it. I thought it might look cool, but I don't know. I don't know, kind of winging it. That's what they look like after they dried in this little sun one. See, this one doesn't have like the the form the shape to it but this could be like a cool like i was thinking like a hot plate or something you know if you're about to set something hot down you could set it on here so we'll make it into something so i don't know we're gonna make it into something and we're just gonna finish it up with some paint now so i already know i'm gonna regret wearing this this white jacket and finish this up with some paint and hopefully that brings it to life so fingers crossed let's go ahead and jump right in Okay, so after everything is cool and dry, then you're just gonna go in and paint it, paint it as if it were a canvas. I'm just using my basic acrylic paint, doing a couple coats and moving on to each different piece. This moon was actually really hard and I feel like I could have done a better job. You guys might be a little more artistic than me, so you might do it better. But luckily, like the hand painted, like at home look is what's in right now. So I think it still turned out cute, but it was difficult. <laughs> I also wished midway through that I had done a first coat of white on top of the clay, but still looked good, but I wish I would have done just one like base coat of white. I go through and bring this sun to life, and then this right here is live footage of me trying to do a splatter paint job. <laughs> I could have done better, but um, I was just kind of flicking the paintbrush. I then grabbed my gold leaf paint, which is one of my favorite things, and went around the edges and gave it a nice little touch of gold. 
After the paint is good and dry, then I'm gonna grab my Mod Podge, and I basically use this as a sealer. I like the dishwasher safe one, not like I even own a dishwasher, <laughs> but um, I just feel like it's the most food safe one, and it's good if you're like gonna be washing it even by hand in hot water. And I'm gonna give it at least two coats, but I'm gonna let it thoroughly dry out in the sun in between. Right, guys so this was the finished project what do you guys think I know I wish that I could have baked that Sun one like I did the other two so it had the same shape but regardless I think they turned out pretty cute and make for excellent little junk bowls whether it's to throw your jewelry in or maybe your keys and your headphones for the Sun one I'll probably put it outside or maybe even use it for like dirty utensils while I'm cooking so yeah for such a like fun and quick DIY project I think they turned out to be really cute so if you guys like the way that these turned out, if you would just give me a thumbs up and comment below and say hello. I do a little happy dance every time someone leaves me a comment, so it just makes me so happy. And please press subscribe for more DIYs, furniture flips, and the occasional lifestyle tip. I will be seeing you guys next week, but like I always say, love hard, be a light, and always have a little faith in your future. See you guys then. Bye. It's, you have to look at the camera. You gotta look at them in there, not at me, in the camera. See? Look. No, no. Look. <laughs>